Yo, what is up everyone? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. So we just got a pretty good update to Halo Infinite. The most obvious thing being a new event, which is called Containment. Now, this was supposed to be the second narrative event of this season, but unfortunately, since the narrative stuff did get cut out, we don't get any cutscene or really much of anything in terms of like lore. But with a new event does come a free event pass. So on the first tier, we got a weapon charm. On the second tier we got some kind of utility item on the third tier we have an armor coating on the fourth tier we have a chest piece on the fifth tier we got a new helmet on the sixth tier we got a visor anyways moving on to the next one we got an attachment a helmet attachment for the new helmet which seems to be some kind of like flashlight or something on the eighth tier we got our first shoulder pad here and of course on the next tier we got the other shoulder pad on the final tier which is the 10th tier we got a stance it's an okay stance it's definitely more unique compared to all the previous stances we've gotten before because most of them have to do with carrying weapons and stuff like that but yeah that wraps up the containment event pass now you may be asking did this event come with a mode because previously the last two events which was Tenrai 2 and the Cyber Showdown event did not have any event mode or event playlist which was very unfortunate but luckily this time around we did get something new and this was something that was confirmed in the works by 343 themselves and it's finally released and that is Husky Raid. So a quick explanation on what Husky Raid is for people who don't know it's basically just small maps that consist of just like one lane there is like certain spots you can take cover in and yeah it's super fiesta ctf it's very chaotic since it's a small map i will say halo 5 definitely has the best husky raid mostly due to the wreck variants they had so many weapons in that game and variants that anything fiesta on that game was honestly just a blast but yeah it's finally arrived to infinite and it's definitely still good i very much enjoyed it from the time that i've played now let's take a look at the maps in this playlist, which are actually all community made forge maps. So the first map we're looking at is Disciple. We also got Small Hollow, which is a bit of a trip because you're literally like giants. Anyways, on to the next map, we got Mega Polis. Hopefully I pronounced that right. On to the next one, we got Ronin, which is probably my personal favorite out of all of them. On to the next one, we got Aqueduct or Aqueduct. Probably pronounced that wrong as well. But anyways, this map actually looks like something out of the infinite campaign on to the next one we got diminished which seems to be some kind of like banished uh themed map is what i got from it on some kind of like lava world or something on to the next map we got scarlet's landing which i will be honest i haven't actually played on this one but it does look really nice and last but not least we got corpo which unfortunately I, I will not be able to even play because that one actually did get removed because it had spawning issues um but based on the image it also looks incredible so yeah, that is the Husky Raid playlist for you. Now let's take a look at the ultimate reward of this week, which is a visor called Brainwave. Not much I can say on this one, but it is a more unique visor compared to just the solid color ones. And of course the shop also got a few new bundles, some returning ones as well. Nothing really eye-catching in my opinion, but yeah, we got some more hazmat core stuff. So I did almost forget to mention this, but the bot playlist has made its return. Previously it got removed because it was getting exploited. Uh, a lot of people were like grinding it really hard. And um, I guess some people weren't a fan of that. Personally, I didn't really mind, but yeah, it's made its return. And of course the XP outcomes for this playlist did get reduced just so people don't farm it. Not only that, but BTB also got an XP buff, so you get more XP from this one. Since Big Team Battle does have longer matches, so I definitely do think that was very much needed. But yeah, that about wraps up this update. Pretty significant update. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. That being said, consider subscribing and liking the video as it shows your support. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.